The unthinkable question has been asked. What does Dutch Polera for 1970 offer that makes it a better buy than Chevrolet Impala and a better buy than Pontiac Catalina? Plenty. But exactly what you cover depends on what each particular buyer wants. Look at it this way. This is Mr. Franklin and his family. Mr. Franklin is primarily interested in room and comfort, not just for himself, but for the members of his family. Sure, he's interested in a lot of other things, looks, economy, but the room and comfort have to be there for him. That's right, Mr. Franklin. You and the family get comfortable. You know that you're sitting in the roomiest car on the market today. Oh, it's roomy, all right, but the roomiest? Right. Both last year and this year, Automotive News' roominess index puts Polara in first place. Well, just what is this roominess index? It's a total of seat height and front and rear headroom, legroom, and shoulder room. Are you all comfortable in Polara? Oh, I should say yeah. so. Okay, now let's see how you make out in Pontiac Catalina. Do you seem to have as much room? Oh, no, 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 indeed. That's because there isn't as much room. Polara beats Pontiac Catalina by almost five inches in terms of Automotive News roominess index. Now let's try Chevrolet's Impala. How is it? Oh, Too crowded. Enough room. Again, it's because Polara beats Impala by almost three and a half inches. You see, it isn't like I'm saying Polara is roomier. Automotive News has printed it. And there are a lot of other superior Polara features that I point out when the customer is behind the wheel. Notice, Mr. Franklin, that Polara has big, easily read gauges for fuel, alternator, and engine temperature. But both Impala and Catalina have only warning lights for everything except the fuel gauge. It is a wise man who knows when something is wrong, but a far wiser and happier man who knows when everything is right. Polara, Impala, and Catalina use wood-grained material on the instrument panel. Polara alone, though, labels all of its controls to make them easier to find and use. All three accent the door trim panels with wood-grained material. But notice that Impala and Catalina have an old-fashioned type door handle compared with Polara's. Impala and Catalina also offer the older, less economical, and less responsive two-speed automatic transmission as an option with their standard engines. Polara's optional automatic transmission is the more economical and responsive three-speed automatic torque flight for use with all engines. Both Impala and Catalina require the more expensive three-speed turbo-hydromatic transmission with their optional V8 engines. Say, I've ridden in both the Impala and Catalina, and they wallow around too much for me. Oh, what kind of suspension does this Polara have? First, the reason Impala and Catalina ride like that is they use coiled springs, good on a smooth surface, but too soft for control on any other surface. Polara, on the other hand, has torsion air suspension with torsion bars in front and leaf springs in the rear for greater control on all road surfaces with comfort. Plus, Polara has the all new torsion quiet ride in which all parts of the suspension are isolated and insulated from the body by thick, sound, and shock-absorbent layers of rubber. This is the same suspension used in Chrysler Imperial. Polara is also built the unibody way in which body and frame are a single unit. Impala and Catalina have a body mounted on a separate frame, which adds to control problems for them. Which of these cars has the biggest trunk? Let me show you. Polara has over three and a half more cubic feet of luggage space in the trunk than Impala, and two and a half more cubic feet than Catalina. Polara is actually more than four inches longer than Impala and some two and a half inches longer than Catalina. Doesn't sound like much until you see how much more trunk room those inches add up to be. An owner of a small, nameless car was heard to mutter while bending golf clubs to fit in trunk. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Polara is a big car in every way, inside and out. Polara's wheelbase is three inches longer than Impala, but the same as Catalina. Now, the women there represent another buying interest, style or appearance. In the bittersweet days of my salty youth, soured by a disappointing experience, I wrote that style is a matter of taste, unpredictable, 
changeable and fickle. That's only partly true. Look at it this way. Style is made up of a lot of different things. So I test the different things on the buyer. If he likes a particular thing, I punch it. If he dislikes it, I go on to something else. Take the grills. All of them are different. All of them have some kind of appeal. But me, I'm glad I'm selling the Polara. Notice, Mrs. Franklin, how Polara's attractive grill is surrounded and protected by the big loop-type bumper. Because it goes all the way around the front, it protects the leading edges of the fenders and the hood from being damaged in parking lots. Why, it would at that. It's getting to be terrible the way people bang into your car. Last year, Impala had a similar kind of bumper, but to look different, they gave it up. You can see that the new bumper won't do much to protect the grill, the fenders, and the hood. Notice how far out the center section of the Catalina bumper grill protrudes. It's really going to take a beating in parking situations. Also, notice that these panels on either side of the center are not metal, but fiberglass. Those two grills are for the horns. The parking lights are set right in the corners of the front bumper where they can be broken easily in pulling into or out of a parking space. Impala also has placed its parking lights in the bumper where they can be damaged easily. Polara, on the other hand, has placed the parking lights where they'll be protected, below and back of the bumper. I never would have noticed that, but you're right. Here you can compare tail lights, and you can see there just isn't any comparison. Polara wins going away. Say, what size tires are these? Those are H78 by 15, and they're standard on the Polara four-door hardtop and convertible. G78 by 15 are standard on the two-door hardtop and four-door sedan. Impala gets one size smaller, G78 by 15, unless it has the optional 400 or 454 cube V8. Then it gets the H78. Catalina also uses the one size smaller G78 by 15 on the sedan and two-door hardtop, but uses the H78 on the other models. Polera's wider, bigger H78 tires will last longer and provide more traction than the G78s used on Impala models. What kind of mileage can I expect from Polara? Polara's standard 318 V8 gives it a big economy advantage. This is the 230 horsepower engine that averaged over 18 and a half miles per gallon in the Union Pure Oil performance trials. Both Impala and Catalina use the same size standard V8, 350 cubic inches. Impala rates it at 250 horsepower, while Catalina rates it at 255 horsepower. And when it comes to price, well, let's see. When Polara, Impala, and Catalina four-door hardtops are equipped with the popular option shown, Polara is $28.82 less than Catalina and is a lot more car than Catalina. Polara is $132.75 more than Impala, but that $132 buys a lot more car in every way. Polara is bigger on the outside, bigger on the inside, has more trunk room, bigger tires than Impala, bigger bumpers, and Polara has torsion quiet ride, which is the same as the Chrysler Imperial suspension system. In every way, Polara is just a great buy. As you can see, Polara has the vinyl-filled body side molding as standard. This helps prevent dings in parking lots when doors of other cars are opened against yours. The vinyl gives under impact and then resumes its normal shape. Oh, I like that feature. People are always hitting my doors. Impala and Catalina also have this kind of side trim as standard. Polara also has the dress-up items of wheel opening moldings and bright rocker panel trim as standard. The rocker panel trim is standard on Impala and Catalina, but the wheel opening moldings are standard on Impala, optional on Catalina. So, in a few minor details, these cars are similar. But here's something that you can get only with Polara. Super light a special optional light to be used with a low beam. It extends your vision far down the highway without shining in the eyes of oncoming drivers or into the rear windows of drivers in front of you. If you've ever been in a spot where you needed to see farther than your low beams go but couldn't use your high beam, then you know how much safety and peace of mind super light can give you. I do a lot of night driving, and that does sound good. Polara is the only one of the three that uses seven-step dip and spray which means the body is both sprayed and dipped in a special anti-rust coating, so it'll resist rust and corrosion for many years. The others use spray only. I think we'd like to take a ride to see how it all goes together. You bet. Let's go.
entire robot because of what the eye sees, the ear hears, and the mind understands. But who is to say that many are not bought because of what the eye does not see, the ear does not hear, and appropriately lost the lack of any pained impulses from a much lower center, the posterior 